Lindley, what was the inspiration for you to first start doing art, creating? The environment I was brought up in. Um, my mother was a painter. Um, my brother and sister and I, we were very, very sensitive kids. We were brought up in a rough country town in New Zealand. Um, I think for us all, we were good at it. It was something we could do, but it was also something that was just completely in our, our environment. What initially engaged me with your work was that there's not a lot of very powerful figurative artists in Australia or around the world right now. There's even less who do portraiture that really captures you, that you can't look away from, where the eyes follow you around the room literally as they do with your work. What is it about the face and serious portraiture that you do that, why do you do that? Why does it engage you as a major theme of your work? I have no idea, Simon. I'm just driven. It's, I've asked myself that question. Like, why do I do what I do? Why do I get up at two in the morning and find myself painting? Why do I wrap myself in an old sheet naked and grab my paintbrush? Or I have no idea what drives me. It's fundamental. I think all artists are painting their inner world all the time. Landscape artists, figurative artists, abstract artists. We're all painting in a way to release something. And for me, I don't even know why I do what I do. I just do it. There's no, there's no other way I, I could be. I, you, I couldn't be a landscape painter. I, pretty, yeah, but it doesn't have anything grungy or it doesn't have anything really honest or it doesn't, it doesn't reveal anything. And I think part of what I'm trying to do is to reveal something inside. So I'm just driven. I'm driven. You're talking about digging deep to find the art, not knowing exactly where that wellspring mm. is. Do you think that great art needs something, a trauma may be the wrong word, perhaps it's an anger, perhaps it's a frustration. Mm. Do you think that great artists need that grit to drive a vision that needs to be unleashed? I, I think something has to drive it. And I know, if, I can really only speak for myself, I mean, my upbringing was tough and I think initially I, I looked for love in sexual relationships. I looked for love in, in, in men because that was what was available to me once I got through my childhood years. And, but yeah, shit happened. There was, you know, I was raped. I, um, it, I was a very open person sexually and there were times in my life, I think, where that was abused um, and I think I abused myself somewhat. So I guess there, was, there has been a healing process that had to take place and my artwork is part of my healing. Thinking of that nature of sex mm -hmm. being a double-edged sword, mm -hmm. You, you're very critical of the male gaze and you've done works, mm -hmm. sculptural works, mm -hmm. that really do critique it mm -hmm. and take it to task. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you're very open about the beauty of sex. Well, some people on a superficial level might think that those two things are contradictory. I have no problem with the male gaze, but I think we need to know it exists and we need to understand it. It's a very, very crucial part of, um, of life. This attraction, but it can also be misused. And I feel opening up doors, say, to a male gaze and a possible female gaze, which is still an evolving concept, that, that it meets somewhere. We're just so fearful of intimacy. We're so, so fearful of exposing ourselves or having someone else expose themselves and just being able to sit with that. It's a bit like sitting with someone when they're dying. It's just a sitting with. You know, it's a sitting with and breathing. And I think that is, that is what we're most shy of. If we could meet somewhere with an understanding of sex being very different to what we understand it to be, I think 
the world would change. I think that's the one fundamental thing that we that could change the world. It's not what we're doing, it's how we're being. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Marvellous interview. Thank you very, very much, Lindley. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.